okay so let us uh, take one more example for finding the time complexity using a step count method okay so this example finds the the transpose of a given matrix e okay this is the these are the steps that is required for this algorithm okay so for each and every step we're going to find out the cost frequency and then total cost okay let us assume that the cost for running the first for loop is c1 cost for running the second for loop is c2 and then cost for running this third statement that is calling the swap function is c3 okay so we need to now find out the frequency of of the first statement okay so how many times this for loop is being run in this the first for loop is being run in this program right so it starts from 0 and goes till less than n so it starts from i is equals to 0 to n minus 1 because this is less than n so how many numbers are there in if you start counting from 0 to n minus 1 from 0 to n minus 1 there are from 1 to n minus 1 there are n minus 1 numbers so it will be n numbers if you start counting from 0 to n minus 1 there are n numbers like for example if you start counting from 0 to 5 there are 6 numbers right 0 1 2 3 4 5 so there are 6 numbers so from 0 to n minus 1 there are n numbers right n times and then you need to do one more time for the final condition checking one more time for the last for checking the last exit condition okay so it will be n plus 1 times so the product of c1 and n plus 1 is c1 into n plus 1 okay so now let's talk about this second for loop so for the second for loop for this for loop so this is the inner for loop for this we need to consi also consider the outer for loop okay so whenever if i is equals to 0 so what is the range of z if i is 0 z will start from 0 plus 1 is 1 till j less than n so it will till n minus 1 from 1 to n minus 1 how many numbers are there there are n minus 1 numbers so it is n minus 1 times plus one more time for the last condition checking this one so it will become n times so the first for loop second for loop whenever i is equals 0 runs for n times so whenever i is equals to 1 z will become 1 plus 1 is 2 to n minus 1 right so this runs for n minus 2 times plus 1 for final condition checking which will be false so it is n minus 1 times similarly if you go the last value of i is n minus 1 so n minus 1 z will start from whenever i is n minus 1 z will start from so z will start from i plus 1 that is i is n minus 1 plus 1 that is n to n minus 1 right so n minus 1 n plus one more time for the last condition checking plus 1 so it will become n to n n to n means one time one time okay so whenever i is n minus 1 this for loop runs for one time okay now if you look at this sequence starts from 1 and goes till n so it starts from 1 and goes till n so it starts from 
1 and then 2 plus goes till n. So this is nothing but sum of first n natural numbers for which the formula is n into n plus 1 by 2. Okay. So the second for loop runs for n into n plus 1 by 2 times. So the frequency is n into n plus 1 by 2. So total cost will be C2 into n into n plus 1 by 2. So now let us see for the third statement. Okay. the third statement this one okay whenever i is equals to 0 okay whenever i is equals to 0 this particular statement runs from j is equals to 0 plus 1 is 1 to n minus 1 okay which is nothing but n minus 1 n minus 1 times whenever i is 0 this particular swap function call is running for n minus 1 times okay whenever now i is equals to 1 okay it runs from j is equals to 1 plus 1 is 2 to n minus 1 which is nothing but n minus 2 times if you go similarly for i is equals to the last value of i is n minus 1 j will start from if it is n minus 1 j will start from i will be n minus 1 plus 1 that is n 2 n minus 1 so from n to n minus 1 n to n minus 1 means 0 times right similarly if you have if you take one step back whenever i was i was n minus 2 we we'll start from so whenever this is n minus 2 j will be n minus 2 plus 1 that is n minus 1 2 n minus 1 2 n minus 1 which is from n minus 1 to n minus 1 that is 1 times one times if you look, if you add all this sum okay all these numbers sum of all these numbers is nothing but 0 plus 1 plus uh, and so on till n minus 2 plus n minus 1 again this is sum of n numbers first n natural numbers the formula is n into n plus 1 by 2 in this case the last value n is n minus 1 this is your n so it will be n is small n minus 1 plus sorry into n plus 1 so n is nothing but n minus 1 plus 1 by 2 which is nothing but n minus 1 into cancels n by 2 that is n into n minus 1 by 2 so the frequency for this statement is n into n minus 1 by 2 n into n minus 1 by 2 so we found out the frequency for all the statements we've assumed the cost as c1 c2 c3 we found out the total cost okay now we need to add all these costs to find out the time complexity of this given program so what do you do next so 
so time complexity for this program transpose as a function of n is nothing but c1 into n plus 1 plus c2 into n into n plus 1 by 2 plus c3 into n into n minus 1 by 2 so it will be c1 n plus c1 plus c2 by 2 n square plus c2 by 2 n plus c3 by 2 n square minus c3 by 2 n take the common terms right so all the n square terms n square n square so it is nothing but c2 by 2 n square plus c3 by 2 n square plus all the terms with n all the terms with n right so it is c1 n plus c2 by 2 n minus c3 by 2 n plus all the constants we just have one constant c1 c1 now this is nothing but c2 by 2 plus c3 by 2 taking any square common similarly this is nothing but c1 plus c2 by 2 minus c3 by 2 taking n common plus this is c1 so this is the time complexity for your given algorithm transpose as a function of n right this is nothing but the order of the highest order is n square we cancel all the constants so it is of order of n square